Hey, what's up guys? David, your Android Junkie over at AndroidSpin.com, bringing you another app of the week. How you doing? And there's my mouth and my peach fuzz hair face. Um, yeah, bringing you an app of the week, and uh, this is a pretty cool one. Uh, I actually found it a little while ago, I didn't really use it, and now I'm using it like crazy because it's pretty awesome. We all love notifications. We like to get our notifications a certain way. Obviously, we have the drop-down bar. Android's really good for no notifications. But we're going to take a look at Locker. Locker? Yeah, I said it right. <laughs> Almost thought I said it wrong. Anyways, we're going to look at Locker Pro, and it's basically that right there. It changes your lock screen and shows your notifications. As you can see, got... Um, Something from uh, Jared Bush, which is the smoking Android. He does YouTube videos, and I got a G Plus comment. And what's cool about this, if I wanted to continue the conversation with him, I just slide to the right, and there we go. We open up G Talk, which we won't dive too into that. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the app. Oh, there it is, right there. Now there is a light version and there is a paid version. I have the paid version just because I thought it was so cool. Um, and as you can see right here. These are all the apps that I will receive notifications on uh, my lock screen. So anything, it shows all the apps. So if you have an app that has notifications, it will display it in the lock screen, as well as it will um, show a little banner at top too. If you get like a notification, it will show it right on top, kind of like in an iPhone manner. I know a lot of people might not like that, but I, I do because I try to make my phone a little different where I don't have a status bar showing. Let's go look in the settings. We got lock screen settings. We got two different themes here, Galaxy and Nexus. Not really too much of a difference between both. Um, we got unlock animation, which you have a fade or default. I just have none because it was kind of glitchy on my phone. Um, screen unlock, you can have it where it's the stupid iPhone ugly thing, which of course I'm not gonna leave because it's oh so ugly. Let's go ahead and put that back to Jelly Bean. And hide status bar, hide clear button, dim, alternate wallpaper, which of course I put the Batman wallpaper. Uh, security, if you wanted to do the pin security, pin or password. Uh, auto clear notifications, that's cool because if you just open up your lock screen and then you're looking through your notifications, <laughs> notifications. If you're looking through your notifications, you um, will be able to just, uh, when you go back to your lock screen, they'll be gone. So that's always nice to have. You can have the uh, clock or you can have a widget you can actually put your very own widget if you wanted to like if there's a certain widget you wanted instead of the clock or a certain clock even so that's pretty cool um, let's go ahead and take a look at notification settings you can have it you can have the choice of um, having your device wake up if you wanted it to so if you're just sitting there and you want it to pop up when a notification happens you very well can and of course it shows that it has banners Scrolling text, which obviously you saw it scrolling across. You can have the contact picture, which is pretty cool. Um, so a lot of stuff there. And then you have vibration settings, which I don't have them on. And of course, sound settings. And then um, when you first install it, you will hit the service active. And it will bring you to your accessibility menu. Which, if you have other, um, other programs or other apps that are running this acce accessibility setting um, it will interfere with it because I was having a problem because I had notification browser that was also on so I wasn't getting I was only getting my text messages which was pretty lame it was pissing me off but uh, yeah, loud noise is going on behind me um, but as soon as I turn it off and even uninstalled it because I really didn't need it anymore it works like a champ so that's pretty much it um, like I said there is a light version and there is a paid version the paid version is like two dollars and something and some change Something like that, but I really like it. Um, I'll even show you guys. Let's see here. I'm on my computer right now. All right, I just sent myself an email from my uh, Android Spin account to my regular account, and we will see. There we go, right there. See how it just kind of pops up that little banner right there. And if you catch it before it goes back up, it'll just open up. Um, that message right away for you. So it's pretty cool. I highly suggest it if you wanted a little something different for your notifications and all that fun stuff. Well, all right, guys, um, that concludes another app of the week. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hit that like, thumbs up button. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. And I will talk to you guys soon. This is David, your Android junkie, over at AndroidSpin.com, saying goodbye. And some reason I'm moving my phone when I talk. I'm weird. 
Thank you. Bye.